Okay, I'm making another video today. I am going to show a little of, I'm not going to open the TV up today and take it apart, but I um, am going to show the television and tell you some stuff about it and show it on the outside. And I have two of these. One of them works. Um, this one doesn't work. It needs uh, the high voltage rectifier tube cap resolder to the flyback. So the lead coming out the flyback has come off. It needs to be resoldered on. I still haven't done that yet. But I like this one because it's a lighter color. The other one's a dark color. I'll show that one sometime in a video. But um, right now I'm going to show this one because this um, TV, a little thing about this television is this is the smallest all tube, and when I say all tube, I mean vacuum tube, no transistors or anything like that. This is the smallest all tube VHF, UHF television, at least that I know of. Um, another user on YouTube that I watch a lot, Shango066, he did a video a good while back about a uh, TV called the Portobello. Now that is a all tube TV too, and he said he thought that that was the smallest, lightest all tube black and white portable television that had UHF and VHF. Well, I don't know if you know that one was exactly like lighter than this one but I I think from the video that the di dimensions of the TVs that this one is actually smaller and I think it has the same size screen though as the Portobello but um, this TV that I'm gonna show this TV it is a all tube whereas the portable is all tube except for the high voltage rectifier tube. The uh, portable uses a solid state high voltage rectifier stick instead of a actual tube for the high voltage. So the flyback in this the high voltage like um, flyback transformer in this which is shaped like a little donut, like a little round donut with the wire coming off of it. It uses a tube connected to it to do something. I don't exactly understand how that works, but it does something to um, like modulate or, or control the high voltage or to help generate the high voltage or something. But it uses a tube to do that before the high voltage goes to the CRT, whereas the portable uses the rectifier stick, and you can see in Chango's video um, that it uses the rectifier stick, and that it doesn't use a tube in the high voltage circuit, like attached to the flyback. So it the portable is all tube other than the high voltage rectifier tube. So. The, that's one of the differences. This one uses a high voltage rectifier tube, so it has at least one more tube than a portable. So this one is actually all tube. This one is actually like all tube. Um, and this TV also, besides being an all tube TV, this TV also is a one tuner combo tuner. It's um, two tuners in one. UHF and VHF are built together and they're one tuner. I'll show that in just a second and um, go back over some of this stuff. 
So this has a smaller profile, at least I think, than the Portobello because it doesn't use two separate tuners where the Portobello's got the UHF and the VHF tuner and the VHF is one tuner and then the UHF is another tuner off to the side. These, in this one, the tuners are kind of combined and it does work, I've used these before and the UHF works fine and it's pretty easy to put it on UHF channels. It is, even though it has one tuner, it is a UHF VHF TV. That's why they call it the all channel, or at least that's why I think they call it the all channel. It is because this TV can pick up all the channels and the UHF VHF spectrum that were um, common back then or that would be used. So any of the channels you could get on pretty much any other tube, black and white TV or any other TV with mechanical tuners, you could get on this TV. But using only one tuner knob that kind of has dual functions. And so this TV is not as wide as the Portobello, and I don't think it's as heavy, but I don't know how heavy the Portobello is, but I know that this Admiral is about eight pounds, seven pounds. I mean, it's, it's light. I mean, it's not a very heavy TV. The Admiral All Channel, it is not a very heavy TV at all. Like, I can, you know, just like with the Portobello, I can pick it up with one hand. The vacuum tube is a really light television. But um, I'm gonna switch to my rear camera in a minute and give y'all a better look. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. So, I, uh, in just a minute. So, I like the um, all channel. Though I wouldn't mind having a Portobello, but this is truly the all tube, no solid state components portable compact television from Admiral and um, I'm fixing to show y'all the TV and let's see if I can get it all in one picture and that is the Admiral all channel that's kind of what it looks like. See, it um, says up here there's a nine, so I'm assuming this is like a, a nine inch screen, roughly. And you have several knobs, control knobs, over to the side. I think that's volume and the power, and then there's like brightness, contrast, I think vertical hold or something down here. I'd have to look see exactly but see this is the tuner I was saying it's just one tuner but you can turn that and select your UHF channels you turn this and it kind of rotates numbers behind and you can select your UHF channel like that um, you're supposed to put it on UHF like that. You put it on UHF like where the UHF would normally be except there's a spot there where you can see numbers. And then you rotate this to select your channels. And it does, it has all the UHF channels that you would normally have and here's the back. It's like a little compliance thing. Say it complies with standards of the back of the time, whatever. It's UL compliant for back then. Underwriters Laboratories. Here's you know the cord wraps around, some more information. And I mean you can you can tell just by the fact that it has so many grill vents in the back that it is tube. And you have your antenna 
comes with an antenna. Whenever they had television analog, before they switched to the stupid, you know, digital television where you could have a dirt converter box to use pretty much any television that isn't a brand new flat screen, you could just plug this in and watch television. You could just plug this TV in and you could, you know, start watching stuff. You know, you could take this pretty much anywhere, just plug it up and watch TV. And I would be doing that with something like this if they hadn't gone to that stupid digital. And, I mean, I don't have a problem with them going and having digital channels and HD channels, but they should keep analog channels, too. I mean, it seems like, I don't know about cable and stuff, but I have Dish Network. My dad has Dish Network. Our, our TV services Dish Network, and now I can... I can hook to Dish Network um, just by hooking it to the television. I don't have to have a converter box or anything. Dish Network still broadcasts in analog. So the big cable and satellite providers, I think all, all of them still broadcast in analog and digital. So why do they broadcast only in digital over the air? It's just a scam to get you to buy a converter box and to make you stop using your television and make it less convenient to be able to watch TV because you can't just hook a television up, plug it in, pull the antenna out, and watch TV. You gotta have a dirt converter box. And it, it just ruins all of these old televisions as far as making them, you know, easy to use and just plug and go like they were originally designed to be. But, um, anyways, that was just what I wanted to say about that. And, um, I've got a lot more old televisions and stuff and um, more projects and things. I actually have a magnet box, magnet color console TV, color console TV in my shed, in my dad's shed outside that I've been working on. Uh, had a bad um, circuit breaker, power circuit breaker. So I've been taking it apart and I'm bypassing that circuit breaker, putting in a fuse. And it's got a few other little problems because I noticed there was some arcing, like some components were a little too close together or something. It wasn't nothing major whenever I tried to power it up. So I gotta take a good look at the bottom of the chassis and see if there's any components that are touching or broken or anything. But it seems like it's gonna be a good working TV. I mean, the tube doesn't have perfect emissions, but the picture tube and the TV that I have in the shed, um, it has emissions in the center, so it's got half emissions, basically. The emissions are about half what they would be if it was a new um, CRT, a new tube, and it's an all-tube TV, it's not a hybrid, it's color, and it's a really nice TV, it's got a really nice cabinet, just seems like a really well-built TV, chock full of vacuum tubes, I really like it, but all the guns show basically the same amount on my CRT tester, they show this about the same amount of um, emission. They're all pretty much showing the same emissions. Each gun, red, green, and blue that I checked are basically exactly the same on emissions, so it should have a good picture. Even though it's about, you know, only registering half the emissions that it would have um, had if the picture tube was new and the T was still new. I don't think the CRT's dead yet. I think the CRT's still got plenty of life in it. Seeing that all the guns are tracking the same, I think that it's still got plenty of life in it. Um, anyways, I'm going to get that working before long. That's just one of many other TVs that I'm um, going to make more videos about. And um, TVs old electronics, anything like that. I'm going to make videos about and put online. 
you know, with my phone, I don't really have any other t cameras really, except I think I have like a flip video camera. But right now, I mean, I really just have access to the internet over my phone, so I'm gonna do videos with my phone for now. But anyways, I just wanna make a video about this TV. Um, and that was pretty much it. I'm gonna hopefully next time show the inside of one of these little Admiral all channels show it working they're neat on the inside and they're good working little televisions like I said I have another one that works so I'll show that next time and show the inside but anyways um, this has been um, Vincent the Raccoon and this has been a video about the Admiral all channel I just wanted to make one on this TV and I'm going to make a few more on this television because I haven't really seen many videos on this particular TV. And it's just a really neat TV, seeing how small it is and the fact that it's all tube and they crammed all those tubes in there. And, you know, and it works as good as it is and it's as light as it is. And it's as slim and compact, you know, for an all tube TV that it uses no solid state components of any kind. so anyways I'm gonna make more videos on that but this is Vincent the Raccoon and I'm gonna be signing off